whatever. Don't do none of that junk. Alright? We're sharp. Right. Yeah, that's what they say. You just hold it, you're supposed to get bigger. I heard that in high school. <laughs> uh, he's one of my closest friends uh, here. Um, he came in with me 2015. He's like a brother to me. You know what? Yeah. Kind of like a call to Okay. Yeah. I feel great to be out here, man. We excited for media day. You see all the guys out here, you know, we, we live, we hype. Man, we just hope to see y'all soon in the stadium. Go ahead and fill it up. Big game, first game, everything. We ready. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Raekwon is, is such a selfless guy that uh, is highly respected by his teammates. And a genuine person that, that guys look up to and respect the words that come out of his mouth. You know, had a lot of adversity this past year with his family. I got a lot of siblings. They look up to me for guidance and stuff like that. That's all I think about up here for real is my family. Me and my mom, we FaceTime probably either every day or every other day. I, actually, I just FaceTimed her the other day for about three hours. Hey, buddy. What's good, mother? How you doing? I'm doing okay. You about ready for this uh, Big Ten Media Day? Mom, i am tell you, that's all I've been thinking about. I can't wait to see. I know you're going to look sharp. What's the weather been? It's supposed to be some type of tropical uh, something forming out in the Gulf of Mexico they've been watching this week. Oh, okay. Oh, shoot. I know, and a lot of people still suffering from, you basically can say, PTSD yeah. from Hurricane Michael. So any type of storm come through, everybody gets scared. Yeah. October 10, 2018 is when Hurricane Michael hit my city. I'm not thinking it's going to be nothing crazy or nothing like that. At that time, we had to go into one of our bathrooms, put the kids in the tub, put a mattress over them. Me and my husband, we were on the floor with a mattress over us. I called my mom to check up on her. Her phone then doesn't work. We felt like at any moment the house was going to go. And then I finally called my stepdad. He was the only one who had service, thank goodness. While I'm on the phone with him, a tree fall on the house. That terrified us, so we jumped up, went in the hallway, and then four leaks started springing on the ceiling. So we ran back in the bathroom. The phone dropped. I hear my little sister scream and my mom scream. So I'm freaking out. I'm all the way up here. I'm like, I mean, what can what can I do? I didn't want Claude to hear the terror in our voices. So I wanted to get off the phone with him at that time. All the coaches, all the players, they was here for me. You know, they gave me a shoulder to cry on. They gave they gave me um, you know, words of encouragement and really helped me get through probably one of the hardest times I'd ever had up, you know, being away from my family. You know, so we had, we got a chance as a team and as a program to, you know, kind of rally behind him and his family when they were going through a tough time. We ended up raising, four, you know, $14,000 just to spread amongst my whole family. You know, I'm, my whole family's from Panama. You know, I don't, I don't know what else we would have done, honestly. You know, if it wasn't for, you know, the program and the support system here. It made me start thinking more positive, like, I'm not, I'm not in this alone. Whenever, uh, so whenever y'all make a play, just run up to me. I'm gonna make sure y'all boys get some showtime. Showtime. You know I take care of my teammates. I ain't on that. <laughs> Elio, love each other. Elio was introduced to us my sophomore year. I saw Retro freshman with Coach Allen, and you know he introduced Elio as love each other. And um, it made so much sense to me as soon as he said it. To me, that's what it's really all about, is, is just caring about people, you know, way more than, than just because, you know, they do something for you. And that's the mentality now, just we, we're in this together, because that's what it's all about. That's how you're going to, you know, accomplish bigger things is with each other. I want to, you know, touch people's lives. I want to be that person that you can't forget about in someone's life, because I know a lot of people have done that for me. I'm proud of him. All of us are proud of him. And he's the leader of my pack, and what he's showing the younger ones in our family is that you can do anything you put your mind to. You know, I always class classify there's, there's low-maintenance guys and there's high-maintenance guys, you know. Raekwon would be a low-maintenance guy because he, he goes about his business and he gets his work done. I mean, I've watched Kwon since he was a young boy 
He would walk around with a football clutched in his arms. He would sleep with a football. Has worked his tail off to get where he is right now. And I think that has shown up on Saturdays when you watch. When there's no football practice, rain or shine, Raekwon would be the only one at that field practicing. I ain't touched 200 till my senior year of high school. <laughs> Man, we was looking at some pictures of you, and I was like, yeah, Raekwon's filled out. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't get here for nothing. You know, you worked for it. It's been a blessing to be courtside. I'm ready to get, get rolling. Hey, with your teammates, with us. We ain't worried about them. Go. 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 Go.